Say what is up everyone, this is Karen here. Welcome back to Tech Karen YouTube channel. Resurrection Remix is one of the great custom rooms in the terms of customizations. And this one is updated with V8.6.5. I've installed the unofficial version on my Redmi Note 8, which has some little bit of changes. I'm gonna show you all those changes. Alongside with that, it's updated with the December security patch. If you wanna take a look at the brief look, uh, if you wanna take a look at some things in this video, I'm gonna show you all those. And if you wanna take a look at the cool all those things the features and everything i have a specific video for resurrection remix whole kind of features make sure to check out that one i'll provide i'll try to put a link in the description and also in the i button if it's possible in this video we're going to take a look at the things which you get here this is redmi note 8's latest version v8.6.5 unofficial version let's get started Guys, this is the build which I was talking about, which is based on Android version 10 Resurrection Remix Q 8.6.5 Kingo Milestone, the unofficial build, which right now I've installed it on my Redmi Note 8. And this has the latest December security patch. Android security patch is of December, and Vendor is also 5th of December. And if you use the official version, you will see some a little bit of different things regarding this one. This build is the unofficial one, so which has some little bit of extra changes like this one has the quick silver kernel maybe the official one does not have the quick silver kernel that has the search kernel if i'm not wrong but other things are also a little bit of different talking about this build the room is as always quite honestly smooth this is super fast super usable and also i have the geekbench score which i'm going to share with you later on first of all the thing which you get changed in this build which is not available in the official one is a default launcher this one is the launcher which is pre-installed just go to the home settings and it's, as you can see all the settings which you get in the launch here launch is a very cool kind of alternative of the pixel launcher which includes some customization features also app drawer customizations dock home widget desktop theme a lot of customizations which you get here and i personally use launch here a lot because it has very cool and minimalistic kind of look also with some cool kind of customizations as you can see, I've applied the wallpaper resurrection remix get rejected. And yes, as expected, all these wallpapers are available here. Just open the on device wallpapers. There are a lot of wallpapers options available. You can apply any one of them and all these wallpaper looks really great. You can apply this wallpaper also. You can apply this wallpaper also. Whatever wallpaper you want to choose, it's up to you. All these wallpapers are free and maybe without working without even internet connection. You can simply click here. Like in my case, I've just applied and it's working perfectly fine let me show you some other things the quick settings you can adjust as of course this is one of the most customizable rooms out there these are my battery stats which has an active drainage of more than nine percent per hour idle drain is almost half percentage of per hour and you can see screen off which was on nine hours and 57 minute everything you can see here in my case the battery backup is good but it's not great there are other customers available which has the great battery backup compared to this one some guys are getting great battery backup in a resurrection remix also but in my case i'm not getting that much but still it's quite good it's not bad it's okay okay Let's move on to the Geekbench score. The Geekbench score is quite impressive. If you are a Redmi Note 8 user, you will see this Geekbench score seems nice. 315 is a single core and 1337 is a multi-core score is quite good. As you can see, average one, 307, now we got 315. So single core seems to be good and multi-core is even better than the normal one. Average 1277, now we got 1337, which is honestly great. Scores does not matter much, honestly. So yes, it, uh, it's up to you if you want to use, if you want to take a look at all these scores and want to decide if you want to flash this room or not and it's up to you and also talking about the default camera the minui camera is pre-installed in this unofficial build and it's if you like this camera yes you can use that which in which we have the 48 megapixel cam option available here portrait mode night sight the camera doesn't include many bugs it has almost everything seems to be working portrait night panorama and pro version and also you have the option of using the gcam i've not installed any gcam yet but you have the option of using the gcam if you need that it's up to you in my case i was using gcam 7.4 by parrot which was working fine you can simply search on google by writing google by writing on google that gcam 7.4 by parrot you will get there very easily 
In this build, we also have the Gallery Go pre-installed. We also have the Retro Music pre-installed. If you are a fan of Retro Music, I personally use Retro Music a lot. So Retro Music is also pre-installed and Gallery Go, the Google's latest Gallery Go is also pre-installed. Launcher is pre-installed, Geekbench score I already shown you. Let's take a look at some brief features. It does not include any major changes here because it's just based on official one. It's an official build. Resurrection tools has a lot of customizations. There are a lot of customizations. Open anything. You will see some other customizations option there too. So there are a lot of things available which you can customize in this resurrection remix. It's up to you. Other things, battery I've already shown you. Going for the display settings, almost same kind of new UI here where you have these icons, this main header icon here, screen timeout and some little bit of extra things. You can also use the Magisk here in my case. I'm using Magisk V20.3 in my case maybe. Yes, I'm using Magisk V20.3. And talking about the safety net status, I think safety net status is passed. As you can see, safety net status is passed too. I can use banking apps without any issues. Almost a kind of a perfect room for you, maybe. You want to try it out? The link is in the description. This is all. Thanks for watching and goodbye.